What's going on guys, it's Sam, and today I'm going to show you how to add your logo to your videos in Premiere Pro. In this video, you'll learn about importing your logo in Premiere Pro, resizing and positioning your logo, along with when to use your logo in your videos. That's good. Alright guys, so we are going to talk about adding a logo to your video. We're going to import it into Premiere Pro, and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do that. Now, I've already done it uh, in the past. It's already loaded into my project, um, and it should be inside of yours too under GFX, um, especially if you're working on the same project as me. All you have to do is grab any image file and drop it into your project panel in Premiere Pro, and then it'll show up as an image file. So if you double click it, it will show up here. Let me uh, hide myself. It will show up. Uh, her logo is right here, this Lotus, um, and it will, it will just pop up in the source monitor. So we are going to take this logo. I think I like this one the most. Maybe not the white one. Actually, no, we will we will do the white one. And then I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do this one, okay? So we're gonna take this white one, and we are gonna click in our timeline, and hold control and scroll up so that we can see some more room in our timeline. And then I'm gonna right click the track and hit add track. So we're gonna add one above. And then we're gonna put this logo and just plop it right on top of everything, okay? So you see that? There we go, so it's transparent, right? Um, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna shrink this down and we're going to put it in uh, the bottom left corner of our video. So we want the bottom left because it's kind of out of the way. That's also where the lower thirds show up. Um, and the bottom left is generally like where you can anticipate something to be, especially a lower third or a little caption. So we are going to shrink this down and we are going to move it with the position under motion and we're going to put it over here. There we go. And then what I want to do is I want to change, I'm going to change this blend mode. Let's do uh, let's do screen. And then maybe do the opacity at like 50%. There. So now it's not like a solid logo every over every single clip. It's just um, chilling in the corner. Okay. So let's see. I'm going to fade this on as well. Um, okay, so I'm Jen Sway. I'm the founder and owner of Jen. Oh, okay. So I want that. I don't want the logo to show up until later. So I'm gonna show. Up, I'm gonna make the logo come in after the first question because the lower third is in the way. Um, okay. So I'm Jen Sway. I'm the founder and owner of Jen Sway Health. It is a health and wellness company helping women create sustainable self care routines. Um, I personally struggled for many years with depression, anxiety, the logo. Um, body image issues. All right, looks good there. Can't really see it there, but that's okay. It looks good there. Bam, it's right there, right there. Look at that logo. Uh-oh, there's already one here. Okay, so I I am going to... Going to remove this. Put a little fade here, put a little fade here. Um, I'm there for them, and I'm also a certified see, personal trainer. Right and that's the other aspect it's of It's smaller, but health. it's all right. And then I have it come back in. So you can find more about me and my business at gensoyhealth.com as well as on Instagram consistent. at gensoyhealth. Okay, so it shows up pretty well everywhere. Um, I am going to make sure it doesn't show up uh, during the title cards. So I'm going to delete these sections, add a little fade here, Co click on this, Command and Control C, copy that fade onto this one. All right, we're looking good. Let's do that, let's do that. Delete. Uh, I just added one with control D. I remember that's 12 frames. Drop that and should be good. Let's see what that looks like. There we go, so it fades As off. a holistic health coach, I felt Bam, okay. So now the logo has been successfully added to the video. It's only on the A roll and B roll, and you can't see it on the title cards, and it's not in the very beginning intro. All right, let me turn my camera back on here. Okay, so uh, I want to talk to you guys about when to put a logo on your video. So here, this is kind of like, uh, it's promotional, and it's kind of story driven at the same time because she talks about herself and her depression and everything um, that she went through. So I, I want there to be a logo on there, because most of the video is talking about what Gensway Health has to offer. 
Um, and so if it's promotional, I want to make sure that the brand is right there. People know um, because everything that she's saying adheres to the brand as well. Now, if this video was more story driven and the intent was not for promotion, but it can still be used as promotional content, um, we don't want the logo because it's a little too distracting. I don't want to see a logo there if there's emotion being provoked throughout the video. Now, the only emotion being provoked through this video is inspiration. Inspiration can be attached to a brand. Now, if it's anything that's kind of more serious and deep on a deeper level, you don't really want to throw a brand in there. You want to keep it out. I hope that all makes sense, guys. Uh, we went over adding a logo and why you need to add a logo. Um, and if you have any questions, leave it down in the comments below. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Hey guys, so this tutorial is from a full course on Adobe Premiere Pro. Go to paradits.com slash Premiere Pro or click the link in the description down below.